Things get a little hairy around the Wells Fargo Center come playoff time. In a hockey town with a hockey tradition that spans decades, players and fans grow beards throughout the playoffs. Why do they do it? That depends on who you ask. Playoff beards make you feel like you're with the team, even though you're not on the team. You growing the beard is like your way of showing that you're ready just as much as they are for playoff hockey. In all honesty, I grow facial hair really fast, and it's an excuse to be lazy and not shave it. Plus, it looks grizzly and awesome. So, I think playoff beards are fantastic and a huge part of playoff hockey. Go hand in hand. You can't say playoff hockey without beards if you do your Sidney Crosby. Speaking of Sidney Crosby, playoff beards in hockey have become such a big tradition that a player's ability, or lack thereof, to grow a beard does not go unnoticed by fans. Breer's little pirate goatee is pretty bad. Danny Breer looks like a pirate Shakespeare man. As for the best, once again, it depends on who you ask. Billy Lano grows the biggest, awesomest beard. You can't find his chin. And Richards just has a real captain-esque beard. It's trim, it's there, and it's 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 a leadership beard, really. Hartnell. I mean, it was, it was hands down Hartnell. He, he looked like a total caveman. I love Scott Hartnell's last year. His looked like Peter Griffin where the birds were coming out of it. Playoff hockey is about hard work, determination, and dedication. Three elements also needed to grow a great beard. Now that I'm starting to grow my beard now, I'm not grooming it, I'm not trimming it. I'm just letting it grow as grizzly as possible. I'm going to fight through all the, the itchiness and, and all the food that's going to get caked in it when I eat from now on. With the playoffs here, the players and fans are doing whatever it takes to support their teams. Even if it means a Paul Bunyan for a few weeks. <laughs>